About a year ago, I did a video on how to set up a brand new Zippo lighter, and we went over some tips and tricks. Uh, one of the things that we do is, is show you how to uh, reroute the wick, other than when it comes from factory, just to help your Zippo get better performance. And in that video, I had a lot of people that asked me if I would do a video on how to fill up a Zippo lighter. It seems pretty mundane and pretty simple, but it's actually, there's a couple things you want to avoid. And I'm going to explain to you why you want to avoid them. So let's just start off by saying this. The object of filling up a Zippo is to get the lighter fluid into the insert where the rayon balls is. But what you definitely want to avoid doing is overfilling it for a couple of different reasons. So we're going to start off by just filling this one properly. So what you want to do is you want to just pull your insert out. And one tip that you can do is if you're afraid that you might overfill it, just pop your cam up and then set your insert into your case upside down. That way, if you overfill it, anything that you overfill will actually go back down into the case. Now you notice that on the felt pad down below, it definitely says lift to fill. I've seen a lot of people that say the little hole in the center, you can just fill it off of that. And while you can do that, it's pretty tedious. Um, that is actually meant for an extra flint to go. Uh, you set an extra flint right in that hole and that's that's what it's designed for however i set mine underneath the felt pad so it's because i like to keep a few extra on board so you definitely want to lift the felt up now the object here is to just get the rayon balls to uh, get them saturated but not to the point of oversaturation and the best method that i can tell you to accomplish that is to just time it uh, what i usually do is I'll lift this up and I'm going to pour about five seconds worth of fuel in here and then I'm going to give it a few seconds to settle in and then we'll give it another five seconds and that's it. That's all there is to it. And you don't want to do over pressure. You don't want to, when you're, when you're filling the fluid, you don't want to squeeze it super hard so you're getting more fluid in there. You're, it's just, you just want to do it with moderate pressure. Give it about five seconds. That'll do it right there. And then just give it a few seconds uh, to saturate in and then once you've done that then give it about five more seconds one two three four and five and you can really see it as the fluid starts to get just to the top of those rayon balls you can probably put a second or two more than that and be sufficient uh, but it's really advisable not to try to overdo it so now we'll set the cam back, we'll close it up, we'll give it just a second, and it fires right off. So why you want to avoid oversaturating or overfilling your lighter? Now, not only does overfilling a lighter, it, it you run the risk of if you try to if you overfill it and then you, you immediately try to light your lighter and there happen to be fluid on your table, on your fingers, or on your case you run the risk of starting a fire. But that's not the only reason. You can also get a chemical burn off of lighter fluid. And it's something that you definitely want to avoid. And those are this is talking directly to people that would carry their lighter in their front pocket. So I have experience with this. And what will happen is once you get it to the point where you've got a chemical burn and you feel it, it's already too late because it's already burnt you so bad that it is going to burn for literally, literally for hours and hours. Now, d depends on how sensitive a person's skin is to uh, lighter fluid. To the because lighter fluid is an irritant. Uh, depending on how sensitive your skin is, depends on how much it's going to bother you. So I'm going to show you what happens when you overfill a lighter. So we've already filled this one and maxed it out. So now everything is saturated in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up a little bit more. And you'll the way that you'll know that it is overfilled is if I can see liquid. And now you can see it's dripping out the bottom because it's so full. It's dripping onto my hand. So now we know for sure that our lighter is overfilled. So I'm going to let this extra evaporate off for just a minute before I try to light this lighter. So I've given this a few minutes and I've let all the excess lighter fluid evaporate off and off my hands as well because the last thing I want to do is catch myself on fire. So the thing about a Zippo is that the, the two halves of the, case is, uh, of the case are not sealed. And so what will happen is if you're oversaturated, the rayon balls cannot absorb 
the excess fluid. And so you'll get fluid buildup that will remain in the bottom of the case. Now, if we set this lighter down, what will happen is that fluid will eventually drop down and it is going to just flow along the case and it's going to reach the seal and then it's going to come out uh, or between the two halves. So if we leave that set there for a minute, then what will happen is we'll, we'll be able to see when we lift the lighter up, you can already tell there's a little line. I don't know if it shows up well on camera. I'll leave it for a little bit longer. But I can already tell that there is fluid that has created uh, a line there where it is seeping out of that seal or out of the two halves. And this is what will happen in your pocket. If you have an oversaturated lighter, then it is eventually going to come out the, of that uh, of the, between the two halves there, and it is going to transfer through your pocket onto your skin and can cause a chemical burn. So it is something that you definitely want to avoid. Now, I don't know if it can show up very well on camera, but I have a couple of lines here where I move the lighter around and it is oversaturated. Another thing that it'll do is you see how sometimes if you have it like this, in fact, I'll just turn it upside down for just a second and I'll, it, you should be able to really see it now. What will happen is sometimes that extra fluid will get into the top of the of the uh, lid too so when you open it even though you open it and fire it off you can see my lid is burning now so and the flame is super high and it's something you just definitely want to avoid and there's times a lot of times what you can hear when you have an overfill lighter is when you do light it up you'll get like this popping it's because the fluid is uh, getting to the point where it's still liquid form too far up and it's trying to uh turn to its gaseous form just in an instant. So you get this kind of a popping sound out of it where that flame will jump. And you'll notice it had a little bit of trouble lighting there. Also, when you have an oversaturated lighter, there are times when it actually will not light because it's oversaturated. And you can see just how high that flame is because we're burning off that excess fluid. So if you ever want to know the dangers of, of how dangerous lighter fluid is, all you have to do is just look up uh, lighter fluid burns on, an, on on a Google search and you'll see just how terrible lighter fluid burns can be over an accident from just burns and you can also see on chemical burns. Now a lot of those are going to include uh, like grill fluid but Zippo fluid is going to be the same thing or in my case I just put Ronsonol which is now manufactured by Zippo. But the point of this is to show you that the last thing that you want to do is to overfill your lighter. So just make sure the best method that I know is to time it. And you can see that with just a, it's about 10 seconds worth, just like we did earlier, just uh, five seconds, let it, let it soak in for about five seconds, and then put about five more seconds of fuel in there. And you're pretty well topped off, much beyond that. And you're going to start oversaturating the Zippo. So I hope this helps. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next one.